Okay, so we've just got in our new demo unit for the Ultimaker 2 Plus, and I thought it'd be good to show you our very first print. Okay, so let's go into the print software, which is Cura for the Ultimakers. And the first thing we'll need to do is select the nozzle diameter. And as standard, um, your Ultimaker 2 Plus will come with a 0.4mm nozzle selected. And then we can select which profile we want. Um, so we'll go for a normal profile for this particular print. And let's just drop our file in, which is our Dream 3D mascot. And as you can see on the top left hand corner, it's saying that it's going to take 1 hour and 11 minutes to print and it's going to use 0.6 per meter of filament. So in Cura, we can obviously scale the model. So if we scale it up, it'll generate a new estimate for the time. That's going to take a little bit longer. Um, but we'll, we'll scale it back down for, for this print. So we go back to 100%. You can also rotate the model if you need to, if a file comes in in the wrong orientation, uh, you might find it more suitable to print a slightly different angle to avoid using supports. I'll just show you what it's like in expert settings as well. Um, this basically just allows you to fine tune your prints a little bit and you can actually go to advanced uh, to do even more but for this print we'll just show you on here uh, all looks well, so we'll save our, save this file to our SD card. And then once we've done that, we need to eject the SD card. And we're ready to go over to the printer. And what we're going to do first is apply a, a layer of glue stick onto the glass plate. This just helps the print stick down. And then insert our SD card select print on the menu and then scroll through the prints on our SD card and select the one we've just saved. So the Ultimaker will then begin to heat up and by the time it's heated up the plate will rise like this and the nozzle should start to extrude filament and it just extrudes a small amount into the front left hand corner just to get a good flow going and then it'll go over to the center and start to print. Right, so that's our print finished. Uh, let's take a closer look. Just remove it from the bed. There you go. And I'd actually say that we're getting slightly better results from the Ultimaker 2 Plus than we were from the previous model. It's just all around a little bit more refined and there's less sort of mess on the overhangs. Everything's a bit neater. Uh, especially the text on the back of this print. Um, and if you want to print this model yourself, uh, you can download the file by following the link in the description below. And let us know how you get on with your Ultimaker 2 Plus. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.